drive on your Mac here. So for example, you can see Raspberry Pi here, Pi Home, and I've got a few files. What that is, is actually the same files I've got here on my Mac. You see I've SSH'd into the Pi, and now I've listed out the directory to show these same file names are here. Now that's great because if I'm following along in a tutorial and say for example I wanted to edit this uh, little light switch file that I've worked on, I've got a, I can't copy and paste into this um, SSH terminal and kind of follow along nicely and I can't also use the dev tools I'm used to. I like using Visual Studio um, or Visual Studio Code and you know, there's lots of others you can use. But being able to use your text editor on your own computer is desired. So if I go here, open it up, and then great, you can see I've actually got this same file here. And if I was to put in a comment here, edited from my Mac, save that. And now if I go back into here, I can exit that out have a look again, you can see edited from my Mac. So it's nice and easy to go between. So the way you set this up is, I'm just gonna exit out. Okay. Oh, I'll stay inside here. So I'm SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi at the moment. And what I'm gonna do is go to sudo W there we go. Sudo apt get install netalk. Sudo apt get install netalk. Now I've already installed that on this particular one, but it'll go through, take about a minute and do the installation. And then after that, on my Mac, I actually had to do another step, which is tell it what to actually share. Um, so uh, where you can do that is, okay, so here you've got sudo nano etc nectalk afp.conf. Now this afp.conf, when we edit this file, what you'll see it look like is, let me just, Delete this and I'll show you. Oops. So you'll see this commented out homes and base directory. So, what you need to do to be able to actually share, if that's what you want to share, you know, you might be sharing a specific path or your time machine backup. There's lots of different ways you can things you can share here. But for me, I just want to share the whole home directory so that way I can get in and edit the um, scripts that I want to play around with on the Raspberry Pi. So you've got to uncomment both the homes and this base directory, and then change it to the home, that, the folder that you want, which in my case is home. Now when I log in at, um, as, the username, say for example, pi, it'll put that at the end for me. So let's press control X, as you can see here, to exit out of this. And that'll ask me if I want to save the changes. I'm just going to type Y for yes. Um, and it's written that out. Now that I've actually made those changes, I just need to restart the service. So for that one, you've got sudo system ctl restart nettalk, nettalk, sorry. So when I do that to restart the nettalk, you can see now it's actually just kicked me out of, of that uh, <clears throat> share that I had before and Visual Studio is complaining because I can't access it anymore. Now, how do we get that back? So from Finder, go to Go, connect to server and um, you'll just type in AFP colon forward slash forward slash and then put in whatever your IP address is. So when you're SSHing in, you're SSHing into a, an IP address of your Pi. Um, I can show you on another video how to set up your Pi for SSH.
but that's the IP address that you set. It's good to set up a um, static IP address so that doesn't change and get annoying. And now if I hit connect, it'll ask you for the username and password. So change that to, so for me it's pi and the password I've set and it'll automatically jump in here and add it to one of your locations. You can see Pi is home and now I'm ready to edit my uh, Python scripts here directly. Okay, that's how to set up an editor. Thanks.